at a Christmas Day double murder suicide in the presence of two children. That's the latest from the Hamilton County Sheriff on the deaths of Donald Joyce and Todd Moon in their home in Noblesville on East 191st and Promise Road. Our Brenna Donnelly spoke with both law enforcement and neighbors today. Brenna, just what a tragedy this is. Phil, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Sheriff's deputies have been working through their Christmas holiday to try to solve this mystery, coming out today and saying officially that Todd Moon did shoot his father, his mother, and then turned the gun on himself. Now, that's the first time we've heard that officially from law enforcement. In fact, earlier this afternoon, I spoke with a neighbor who said he was still apprehensive for the safety of his family because he wasn't sure exactly what happened to his neighbors. Not knowing whether what was going on, just murders a half a mile away with dead people, it, it was kind of nerve wracking. Christmas Day 2017, Fred Fowler and his grandson drove home to Noblesville and to a murder scene. The sheriff says their neighbor, 48 year old Todd Moon, reportedly very upset, had called his sister asking her to pick up his twin eight year old children. She arrived and couldn't calm Todd down. Mother stepped out of a room. And Todd, in a fit of rage, pulled out a handgun and began firing at his mother. Uh, he then went to a back room and began firing at his father. She gathered up the children, immediately left the residence. Uh, as she was leaving the home, she heard a, a, a last gunshot, which she presumed may have been Todd taking his own life. That story didn't emerge until today. At the time, we didn't know whether you know there was somebody on the loose or or, or what, and so uh, you know we turned on the outside lights and made sure all the doors were locked and everything, and and just stayed uh, inside the the house. As for the loss of three family members in one holiday, Fowler says he can't imagine their pain as he spends a first Christmas without his sweetheart. I miss my wife terribly. And uh, we had been married uh, 59 and a half, almost 60 years. So I can't imagine the thought of, I think it was the daughter, and I don't know her age, they didn't say her age, but to come in to find something like that on Christmas Day, I mean, it's it just uncomprehensible. You just, uh, nothing like that could ever happen uh, to your family, but I guess it did. Well, as for the motive, the sheriff says we may never know what set Todd off. He did not have a criminal history, no history of mental illness. They said he actually worked in accounting. He had been divorced for several years, but had custody of those two children who, by the way, did not see any of the murders, but likely heard the guns go off. They're now in the custody of their aunt, Todd's sister, and are receiving counseling and therapy services. Live in Noblesville, I'm Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.